right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to a day in the life of a DePaul University student. Um, for most of this video, I'm just going to be doing a voiceover just because it's easier than talking. But as you can see, we get up at 7.30 every morning, 7, 7.30-ish. Make a good breakfast, get your eggs and fruit in, get ready for the day, and usually head out around 9 o'clock. Um, today I have my classes in the loop, so how my school works is a lot of the, some of the classes, especially like the business school, is downtown, um, and main, a lot of your core classes, as well as like science and a lot of other majors are in the main campus in Lincoln Park, so I usually split my week in half, half the week I'm in Lincoln Park, and half the week I'm in the loop, which is nice, because I kind of get the best of both worlds, but today was a loop day because I had my finance class and I have my business communication class, which are both obviously in the business school downtown. So you can see some shots of campus here um, as I walk to the train station, which is only about a 15 minute walk from my apartment. So it's really not that bad. It could be a lot worse. Honestly, I know some people that have to take a train to the train. So it, it really works out. We got lucky finding the place we found. Yeah, here we are at Fullerton, which is the uh, the train stop on campus, and I'm going to just scan my Venture card and head up, and then usually you can take the brown or red line, and obviously the purple if the purple comes, but that kind of runs inconsistently. Um, I like to take the red line just because it's a lot faster, um, and at this time of day, it's obviously safe. It's just a lot of students and people going to work, but you do have to kind of be aware of your surroundings when you're on it at night or alone or something like that, but yeah, it's not too bad. It's a lot faster. It's maybe a eight to 10 minute train ride to get to the loop campus. So you gotta go up, wait, here we are. And uh, now we're at we're at uh, Jackson, which is the loop stop in downtown Chicago and heading out to the business school. I believe uh, we have three or four schools downtown. I think the business school, law school, um, CDM and College of Communications are all downtown. Um, obviously, I only go to the business school and occasionally like my finance class is in the law building for some reason. I think it's just based on how much space they have for classes and who they can fit where. But as you can see on the right is our business school, right lo located right in the loop of downtown Chicago. And it's all kind of, they're all in the same area, so it's like a mini campus downtown, which is nice. Uh, here we are in the lobby. It's just got the bookstore and cafe and stuff in it. and then. Since I got here early today, we're gonna head up to the 10th floor, which is where the business library is located. And usually if I get there early, I'll go up there because I always have some sort of work to do or emails to answer just based on what's going on with my days and weeks. So yeah, we got there about 25, 30 minutes early because I always like to be there early just to make sure I get there. And now I can get some work done in the library. Here's some shots of that. It's nothing crazy, just your, your basic library. Um, with some study spots and books and all that good stuff. Um, I usually like to try to find a table by the windows just because obviously you get a crazy view of downtown Chicago when it's not foggy like it was today. Um, and yeah, it's always nice when you're kind of stressed out or getting worked on to just look up and see a nice skyline view and all that. So you can't really complain. And uh, yeah, here we are checking some emails for the day. And then obviously you get the view, which not great today because it was foggy, but it's usually a lot better than that when you can see and then yeah, I just <clears throat> had some papers to work on and cover letters to do for some internships I'm applying for. But other than that, that's about it. And about 20, 30 minutes later, we'll head down to the seventh floor, which you see here. And I'll go to my business communication class. Um, it's actually one of my favorite classes I'm taking at the moment. It's just, it's very helpful and the professor really cares about what he does. So uh, you, you definitely learn a lot and a lot more than I thought I would have been how to professionally um, present yourself in different settings and things like that so it's good and this class is at 10 10 it's about an hour and a half long so we'll get out at 11 40 and pop straight to my next class which you can see here um like i said it's in the law building for some reason so it's nice that we have these little sky bridges to connect the two buildings instead of having to go all the way outside and around the buildings obviously that would be a hassle so i only have to go up two floors in the business school which then connects to the floor i need for law school it sounds confusing but trust me it's not that bad once you get the hang of it but yeah here we are going to finance um which is it's not a bad class it's a lot of work obviously but it gets you uh it gets you prepared for what you need obviously and then yeah that class is an hour and a half long as well so that'll be from 11 50 to 120 and then usually i just kind of head back home to lincoln park um around a 120 130 ish whenever my class gets out um if I'm really hungry. I'll stay downtown for, for some food, for some lunch. But I mean, for the most part, I come back home just because I have a lot of food at home. But it is nice to grab food downtown every once in a while. And then, yeah, we go 
back to the train hope that there's not too long of a wait and as you can see today there was there was a pretty pretty long wait which is pretty rare i think it's just because i got there at a weird time than when i usually do and then yeah now we're uh back in lincoln park and pretty quick train, train ride like i said it's only about eight to ten minutes and you're back and today was colder i think it was like in the 30s and 40s so when it's colder if i'm lucky and i get there on time i can catch a bus that just takes me straight down Fullerton, um, which drops me off right by the street I live on. And it's literally like a four minute bus ride, which when, trust me, when it's 30 degrees in Chicago, it's a lot better than walking the 15 minutes in the wind. So yeah, here you can see some shots of campus through the bus. And then, like I said, about three minutes later, I'm back on my street, which when I can catch it, it's very convenient because nobody likes to ride that long. And then, yeah. All right, what's good? Just jumping in real quick. Just got back from class, we're back home. I'm gonna stop in real quick, grab some lunch because I have some leftovers, grab a snack, change into gym clothes real quick, and then we're out. So just stopping in real quick, checking in to give y'all an update, and yeah, back to the montage. All right, and as you just heard from past me, I stopped in, grabbed some lunch because I was starving. Um, I had some leftovers from dinner the other day, so obviously that's always a plus. And then. A uh, quick change of clothes into some workout clothes slash comfortable clothes that I can also study in and we're heading back out. So I walked to campus. I took a different route this time so you can guys so you guys can kind of see a different part of campus. But yeah, about another short 15, 10 minute walk to campus and here we are. I like to go to the, the arts and letters hall. There's like a digital commons there that's pretty comfortable and quiet so I can get a lot of work done, which you'll see in a second here. And yeah, I just walk there, get some work done and then after that, we'll head to the gym, which would be nice because it's always a good uh, good way to blow off some steam after a long day of class and work. But yeah, I think today I just had some some finance to work on and a couple other things, but mainly finance. The, the, like I said, the assignments are pretty heavy and it's a pretty big time consumption. So you gotta, you gotta make sure you set a lot of time aside to study and do it. And then yeah, fast forward a bit because I didn't really film at the gym, which you'll hear in a second. And it is now dark, obviously, because a couple hours have passed and we are back on our way home from campus, which I will talk about in a second. All right, y'all. So as you can see, it is now dark out. Um, I don't think I put any clips in, but I went straight from studying and homework and then some applications, process, all that stuff. I went straight from there to the gym, basically because it's only like a five minute walk. It's like right across campus. Um, and that, that end of things, rather than going home for like a 15 minute walk and then coming all the way back, it was just way out of the way. So I went straight from there to the gym. I don't think I recorded any of it. Um, I did get a little clip of the gym, so insert that here. And then, uh, yeah, so we're just heading back from the gym now. Figured I'd jump in here real quick, give you all an update. Basically, the, me the meaty part of my day is over with. Um, now we're just gonna head home make some dinner, I think we got like, I don't know, like, like fettuccine Alfredo or something. I, you know, whip up a quick dinner, finish up any homework I gotta do for the night or anything I wanna get done. And then yeah, we're basically just gonna chill the rest of the night. So hopefully y'all have been sticking with me through this video so far. I know it's been a lot of short clips, but it's kinda hard when I'm running around doing a million things to record all the time. But yeah, hopefully y'all have enjoyed it so far. I'm gonna head back home, we're gonna get some dinner, and I will see y'all then. Alright, as you heard me just say, kind of wrapping up the day here, just go home and chill, make dinner. This is pretty typical on a weekday night because there's always a lot of work to do. I don't have a ton of free time, and when I do, like I said, I use a lot of it for either the gym or just getting extra work done. But yeah, it's always nice to come home and cook some dinner. As much as some people hate it, I actually don't mind. Um, it's kind of nice to, you know, make your own dinner. Make You, you kind of, it always tastes better when you make it. So uh, we had some fettuccine Alfredo courtesy of Drew Osco and Trader Joe's that we're whipping up. So as you can see here, whip that up real quick. It was actually pretty fire. I'm definitely going to make that again. And then yeah, basically wind down for the rest of the night. Take a nice shower. Um, done with work, obviously it's late. And then usually kind of set the mood in the room and get uh, some YouTube in or today I was feeling good so I read um, that's not an everyday occurrence and that's about it thank you for watching